At CDSPN, we have a lot of traditions. We hold all these traditions very, very dear to us. Hey Corona, I'm Kim Pesolasi. And I'm Marion Segan. And, and this, this is CDSPN. We got a few highlights from last Friday's game. For the first round of the playoffs, Corona took on that team from Levine. With a strong defensive showing by Kyle Benson and Tyler Giannotti, the offense was able to do what they do best, even without Kirby Pellant. He went down in the second quarter and never returned. Also, backup quarterback Graham Walton stepped in and had a good showing. The next opponent for the Aztecs is Mesa Mountain View. And if we get past them, we play the winner of Brophy and Highland. So come out tonight. We need a big crowd. I hate to say it, but last year the team to eliminate us from the playoffs was Brophy. So starting tonight, the rocky road to the playoffs begins. So last Saturday, girls varsity volleyball took on a defending state champs, Xavier, and lost in four games. They had a really good season, and they should be proud of that. Yeah, they definitely should. Boys and girls basketball begin their seasons next week. Boys play in the Mesa High Tournament and face Desert Mountain on Tuesday at Mesa High. Games continue on Wednesday and Saturday. The girls team is participating in the Highland Thanksgiving Tournament, and they face Gilbert for their first game at Mesquite. Games continue th Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at Mesquite and Highland. Hey, Kim, I hear you kill it on the court. I guess. <laughs> Okay. Well, everyone should go out and support both girls and boys basketball next week. Don't forget, football game tonight, 7 p.m. at Mountain View. That's all we have for you today. I'm Marion Segan. And I'm Kim Pestalozzi. And, and this, this was CDSPN.